England against Belgium. Belgium won it with not, not a lot of quality in this match, but the goal was, was very good. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, think, I think we saw the shortcomings of, of that England squad. It's a very young squad. Uh, and today they did not, I mean, they didn't take the opportunity that was given to them by the manager. I thought on the other hand, some of the Belgian players, they were, uh, were doing exactly that. One of them, a former Manchester United player, Adnan Januzaj, uh, and he scored uh, the, the only goal in the game. And what a cracker that was. He went left, then he went right, then he went left again, and he curled it up into the top corner. and. Uh, uh, I think that we can see that goal now. That was um, that was something special to wait for uh, in that game. They were few and far between, though, weren't they? These moments of quality. You were thinking maybe somebody would take their chance to impress the manager. I mean, to be fair, Yanezai did that. Well, th that's exactly what I thought that one of some of these guys would do. Um, they they don't get much playing time. A lot of the players that were in there, we saw Danny Welbeck come up, uh, come in at the very last uh, ten minutes, I think. Um, he hasn't featured at all. Danny Welbeck is a class player, plays for Arsenal, but uh, he hasn't he hasn't played at all. And here we uh, we see the result: England losing one 0 to Belgium. And and what this does and, and, and gives uh, in the in the sort of the way ahead is it gives a little bit more belief in the Belgium team. We know when they play their best team, they are a world class outfit. But what happens, and it happens quite often, is that if you get injury or suspensions, you don't have the players to put on. But I thought some of the players today in that Belgium side, they actually did well. Fellaini did well. I was very surprised at that. He played a really good game today. As I said, Janusar as well. Uh, so, you know, it's, um, it's for Belgium today, it was a good day. Anybody stand out for you in the England 11? Eight changes, uh, remember. <laughs> It's, it's really difficult to stand out. I mean, one of the players, I like him uh, uh, a lot, is, uh, is um, Jamie Vardy. He was trying and trying and trying, but to be on his own, is, it's difficult. Uh, and the way that England play uh, is not completely to the way that Jamie Vardy wants to play. He wants to have them in the spaces where the, the ball in the England setup is played more. Harry Maguire that came on, I thought he was excellent when he came on. England uh, did have a chance in this game and it came courtesy of Vardy. Very nice turn, played um, Rashford clean through. And, and, and Rashford should, should have scored. It's the one criticism people have, and me including, of Rashford is he gets into so many great goal scoring positions, but he's not clinical yet. He gets the chances, but once he starts putting a few away, I think he will be a, a prolific goal scorer. But at the moment, he's struggling a little bit to find the back of the net. He should have scored. It was a fingertip, not even a fingertip. It was a, the the, out, yeah, the it was a little bit of the nail. A cuticle. The one the one bit of the nail you can't see that he that the um, Courtois saved the ball with, uh, and even in the replays, it was difficult to see that he saved the ball. But the referee gave a corner kick. So he must have done that. So, uh, and, and that was just about the only thing that England had in the whole game. And that, I think, for Southgate will be very disappointing. He's okay, it was a cautious, cautious approach to the game, but I think he was wishing for someone, just someone to do anything that would give him a problem when he's gonna pick his team next time. He's gonna be, now, I mean, we are, what, what are we, 15 minutes away from that game finishing? He knows exactly what 11 players he's going to play in the next game. He's got no problems with that. And that, I think, he, he will be a little bit disappointing for him. one nil to Belgium. And, and what this does and, and, and gives uh, in, the, in the sort of the way ahead is it gives a little bit more belief in the Belgium team, we know when they play their best team, they are a world-class outfit. But what happens, and it happens quite often, is that if you get injury or suspensions, you don't have the players to put on. But I thought some of the players today in that Belgium side, they actually did well. Fellaini did well. I was very surprised at that. He played a really good game today. As I said, Janusar as well. Uh, so, you know, it's, um, it's for Belgium today, it was a good day. Anybody stand out for you 
and he gets into so many great goal scoring positions but he's not clinical yet he gets the chances but once he starts putting a few away I think he will be a, a prolific goal scorer but at the moment he's struggling a little bit to find the back of the net he should have scored it was a fingertip not even a fingertip it was uh, the the, uh, the it was a little bit of the nail a cuticle the one the one bit of the nail you can't see that he that the um, Courtois saved the ball with uh, and even in the replays it was difficult to see that he saved the ball but the referee gave a corner kick so he must have done that so uh, and, and that was just about the only thing that England had in the whole game and that I think for Southgate will be England 11-8 uh, changes uh, remember it's it's really difficult to stand out I mean one of the players I like him uh, uh, a lot is uh, is um, Jamie Vardy. He was trying and trying and trying, but to be on his own is it's difficult. Uh, and the way that England play uh, is not completely to the way that Jamie Vardy wants to play. He wants to have them in the spaces where the the ball in the England setup was played more. Harry Maguire that came on, I thought he was excellent when he came on. Uh, England did have a chance in this game, and it came courtesy of Vardy. Very nice turn, played um, Rashford clean through. And, and, and Rashford should, should have scored. It's the one criticism people have, and me including, of Rashford is he... England against Belgium. Belgium won it with not, not a lot of quality in this match, but the goal was, was very good. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think, I think we saw the shortcomings of, of that England squad. It's a very young squad, uh, and today they did not I mean they didn't take the opportunity that was given to them by the manager I thought on the other hand some of the Belgian players they were uh, were doing exactly that one of them a former Manchester United player Adnan Januzaj uh, and he scored uh, the, the only goal in the game and what a cracker that was he went left then he went right then he went left again and he curled it up into the top corner and uh, I think that we can see that goal now that was um, that was something special to wait for uh, in that game. They were few and far between though, weren't they? These moments of quality. You were thinking maybe somebody would take their chance to impress the manager. I mean, to be fair, Yanezai did that. Well, th that's exactly what I thought that one of some of these guys would do. Um, they, they don't get much playing time. A lot of the players that were in there, we saw Danny Welbeck come up, uh, come in at the very last uh, 10 minutes, I think. Um, he hasn't featured at all. Danny Welbeck is a class player, plays for Ar Arsenal. But uh, he hasn't he hasn't played at all, and here we uh, we see the result: England losing 